Hey everybody, in this episode, we are going to make the linkage peg. The linkage peg is the smallest part, I believe, that you're going to make, um, definitely for this project, maybe this entire school year. Um, it is very similar to the other pegs that we're gonna do. So let's hit create and document, and I'm gonna call this linkage peg, and then throw your initials on the end so we know which teammate did it. Now, there are many right ways to come to your part. Uh, a couple of things we definitely have to pay attention to are dimensions and then changing the material at the end. So um, if you are following a different set of directions or you're doing it on your own, you can still come up with a different way to do this. And that's awesome. So here we go. I'm going to hit sketch and I'm going to do it the way that I just, I think is the easiest. So let's go ahead, I hit sketch. I'm gonna hit the front view. I'm gonna rotate it to the front and I'm gonna grab a line tool. I'm gonna start somewhere up on this vertical line and I'm gonna come right down to the origin. I'm gonna come to the right at a right angle and I'm gonna go up at a right angle and then I'm gonna come to the right at a right angle or perpendicular. Uh, I'm gonna hit escape to get out of there and now I'm gonna start adding dimensions. So uh, you need to find this tool or you can start hitting D on your keyboard for the shortcut. And again, like I said, this is gonna be the smallest part. So the height, the largest height on here, the largest dimension is 0 0.325, 0 0.325. So you can see it's really small, about a third of an inch. Um, the height of this part right here is 0.25. The width or diameter of this is 0 0.0625. And since it's the diameter and we're going to revolve it, we really need to know the radius. So let's divide the diameter divided by two. Um, let's grab the end point here and this vertical line and let's get um, this radius is 0.1562. All right, and let's close this up with a three point arc. So I'm going to click on this endpoint and this endpoint, and I'm going to click on that. I got that dot really, really close to this vertical line. Um, so I'm going to grab my dimension and I'm going to click on this arch right here, and I'm going to make this 0.1562. Five, six, two. Yep. All right. So we've got that all done. Let's hit the green checkbox and revolve this profile and grab the revolve axis along this axis and hit the green checkbox. And I'm going to hit this bottom arrow or angle right here because I'm going to zoom in and add a chamfer here. Um, we want to do angle, uh, distance and angle. The distance we want is 0 0.01. The angle we want is 45. And then if I click this circle here on the bottom, you'll see it snap on there. And when you hit the green checkbox, you're good to go. So we're almost done. I mean, look at how tiny this piece is. I've 3D printed this piece a couple times and it is super, super tiny. Um, as you can imagine, I mean, it was like a third of an inch tall. Okay, um, so I would need to right click on my part, go to assign material, make the material ABS plastic, click that, make sure you click your green checkbox. And of course you can change the color of it uh, by simply highlighting it and right clicking and um edit appearance to something like black or gold or whatever theme you're going with okay thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions